10 DC superheroes who turned evil. DC is a universe of comics, where each character is portrayed uniquely in its way. Their star-studded movies of action and animation are always displayed with a perfect appealing storyline, with a mixture of twist and turn on every step that makes it more interesting. Since the beginning, we have seen some super talented DC heroes winning the heart of the audience with their brilliant performance and kind heart. Their generosity and love for mankind have impressed viewers numerous times. But it has also been observed that DC wonderfully excels in amalgamating the good with bad. In multiple DC works, we see how a superhero indecently turns into a supervillain of the movie, leaving the audience in a state of shock. At times, the idea works great for them, but sometimes it fails too. However, turning the fans' beloved pure soul heroes like Supergirl, Superman, Batman and High Jordan into evil is surprising but can welcome some fascinating plots and thrilling stories. Viewers often protest against the unacceptability of turning good into evil. Other times it leaves them into the excitement of what twist and turn the story will take now and gain popularity. In today's video, we will see the 10 times this pure souled superheroes transformed into nasty evil villains. Number 10 is High Jordan. DC's favorite character and the utmost cocky guy with pure personality and intentions is High Jordan, who constantly crushed evil over good. High Jordan was honored to represent the team of Corpse in Green Lantern and Justice League. He has fought and protected the world several times. Jordan was blessed with the power ring that he used to prove himself as a marvelous courageous superhero that later turned into evil. High Jordan turned into evil from good when Cyborg Superman devastated his territory. His fans were left in great shock to see him as evil. The event turned him into the biggest criminal of all times, the Parallax who was a merciless and heartless killer of mankind. Jordan, in great pain over his lost land, gained immense strength and twirled into Parallax's body and destroyed almost every Green Lantern member in revenge. He fought until Kyle Rayner, the new member of Green Lantern, confronted and killed him. It is also said that Parallax and Jordan are not the same and Parallax used his body to fight for the multi-universe. This permits High Jordan to recover and might rebirth again. On number 9 we have Wally West. Wally West's rebirth was a happy moment for his admirers and his loved ones universally. The hero returned with a sign of good hope to his fellows, Titans, who now expected happiness, but that didn't happen in real. Nonetheless, Wally remembered everything from the previous time including his friends, partner Linda and Jay and Irie, and their thoughts would gradually make him lose control of his mind and go mad. He went to seek physiological support from the Asylum for Heroes to remember his past life and events. Well, but that didn't work out well for him and he became more violent, ending up murdering everyone at the sanctuary unintentionally. He also killed his own buddy Roy Harper in the madness. Fortuitously, he left Batgirl, Booster Gold and Harley Quinn and wanted them to be blamed for the multiple deaths he did, but they jointly confronted and discontinued Wally West's violence. Wally was now jailed forever behind the bars. Number 8 is Injustice Superman. Superman, the crime fighter and a majestic superhero of all time, was once a reason for complicated chaos in the DC comic world. This era is a must to consider when we discuss the fantastic superheroes turning into evil. The event begins when Joker devastated the land of Metropolis and deceived Superman by presenting that he was fighting Doomsday. He misleads and trapped Superman by mercilessly hitting and killing his expecting wife Louis Lane in the unborn baby. The kind-hearted Superman could not hold his anger over this cruelty and slew Joker on the spot. The incident turns out to be a gloomy day in Superman's career and it turned him into evil in seconds for assassinating a living being. The minute Superman tore and split Joker's heart left no option for him to reverse it back. 
Superman converted from a superhero to the world's ruler of inequitableness, along with a team of superheroes and anti-heroes who supported him in this wrong. The incident later made Batman launch a battle against Superman to stop him. This was a major event in the world of video games and comics. Number 7 is Jason Todd. Jason Todd is a well-known superhero that plunged into darkness and became evil. His father passed away when he was a child and he was left alone with the only idea of survival to become a thief. His encounter with Batman happened when he stole the Batmobile tire. Batman gave him a new good life, hoping to grow him like Robin. Jason was an angry, fiery-minded guy by nature, who got trapped by Joker in a desire to meet his lost mother. Sadly, Joker caught and slew him. Ages later, Jason reappeared in Gotham City to take his revenge. He disguised and portrayed himself in a red hood. He used all the methods and tricks he learned from Batman for anti-crime and people's protection, but used them to slay Joker. He transformed into an evil villain from a good-hearted hero. Jason later became a part of Batman's team like a hero again. Number 6 is Terra. Terra was an evil disguised into good. She was Geo-4's sister and a popular member of the Teen Titans team. Terra was powerfully capable of stopping dust and pebbles. She fought many battles for the good and was a superhero. Later, her behavior was judged unpleasant and insensitive, but with the Titans and team, she was much calmer. Terra got involved with the Titans so much that she even started a relation with Beast Boy. In reality, she was working as a mediator for Deathstroke. Her job was to inform Deathstroke about the secrets of Titans and their plans and actions. Terra intended to let down and deceive Titans, but with time she felt uncomfortable and over-controlled by Deathstroke. Terra's anger raised and she protected her own Titan friend against Deathstroke by using her superpowers. The fight with Deathstroke took a high, but Terra's final intentions are unclear to the audience. Number 5 is Sinestro. Not every superhero can continue to stay noble and honorable. At times they adopt nasty activities too. Sinestro was one example of it. Sinestro was previously an active team representative of Green Lantern Corps. He was not an antagonist from the beginning. Sinestro was High Jordan's teacher in Green Lantern when he joined the team. Sinestro was overpowered and overvalued. That ruined his goodness. Sinestro could not handle success and became evil. He was exalted from corpse for misusing his powers and disgracefulness. Sinestro formed his own Sinestro corpse called Yellow Lanterns. Since that time, he's retaliating for revenge against Green Lantern. Number 4 is Hawk. Hawk the Hunk Hall was a wonderful superhero. He was short-tempered with terrific powers and tough muscle. Hawk went through big losses and his grief made him mad when he lost his wife Dawn Doe, after his brother Dawn's death. Hawk took his revenge by killing their murderers and conquered their assassin's empire, the Monikers. Hawk, after conquering Monarch, became more powerful and dangerous. In The Blackest Night, Hank murdered Holly and formed Black Lantern. That resulted at the beginning of two dangerous Hawks. On number 3 we have Niles Calder. Niall Calder, also famously called the Chief, was a man with brain power. Unfortunately, he was paralyzed of his legs and the lower body, but that did not affect his capability of discoveries and creations that too made him financially very strong. He used his astuteness and capital in protecting the Doom Patrol and served everyone with his ideas and creations. Niall Kohler was throughout a good human being until the twist came that turned him into a super villain. The audience was left in a state of shock when it was declared that Niall Kohler was a felonious chief who developed a nanotechnology bomb to blast the world. 
He was deliberately responsible for the incident that shocked the Doom Patrol entirely. Number 2 is Maxwell Lord. Maxwell Lord was a frolic personality and an entrepreneur of his time. Lord invested and supported Justice League International and was a good jolly person throughout. Max was mentally strong but turned negative to save himself. For survival, he revitalized Cyborg's physique. Later in the countdown to Infinite Crisis, it was discovered that he turned evil enough to not only plot games against the superheroes, but also gunned down his friend Blue Beetle. Last but not least DC evil villain who turned from a superhero is Adam Smasher. Albert Rothstein, the Atom Smasher, is famed for his massive power and mighty muscle. His first entry to the DC world was in the second season of The Flash, performed by Adam Copeland. He was from a generation of an amalgamation of good and bad. His godfather was Adam, the Golden Age star, and his grandfather was the evil Cyclotron. He strongly disagrees with Black Adam's restructure until they settle it down in a friendly way. Adam Smasher later escorted Adam to win back his land and knocked down everyone who came in their way with his marvelous strength and powers.